kindergarten, it's Mrs. Stasilovich. I miss you guys so much. Today, I'm going to read one of my favorite books to you. And if you were in my flex, or if you were in my class, you've heard this story before, and it's pretty silly. It's called, We Don't Eat Our Classmates, and the author and the illustrator is by Ryan T. Higgins. If we look at the cover, we can see a little T-Rex on the cover, and she has drool coming out of her mouth. <gasps> and look, somebody's shoe. I hope she didn't eat some, someone, one of her classmates. Let's read it together and find out what happens. We don't eat our classmates. I'm gonna take off the jacket so it's easier for me to hold. On the inside, there's pictures that kids drew of dinosaurs for this book. And it says, for my favorite new kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Stass. Here's a little picture of Penelope on the cover. We don't eat our classmates. Hey kids, you'll never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct, I promise. Silly. All right, let's read it. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T Rex starts school. Do you remember your first day of school? What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. <gasps> Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were, do you have a prediction? All of her classmates were children! Uh-oh. So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. Oops, she made a mistake. She tried hard to make friends at recess. <gasps> Look, her mouth is open. She finger painted some of her best work. <laughs> she even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit right here. Look, right on her plate. Oh, Penelope. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked. Did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe sort of, just a little bit. Oops. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. Hmm. The next day, Penelope tried really hard 
but poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amodo again. And they were all afraid of her. Except <gasps> Walter. Walter was a goldfish. That means fish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Hmm. I wonder what Walter's going to say. Jump! <gasps> Did Walter bite her? Grenette cried Penelope. He's eating my Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates, even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you! Want a brownie? I help make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter the goldfish just, uh, sorry, and Walter the goldfish stares right back at her and licks his lips. Because dinosaurs are delicious. The end. And there's more pictures of dinosaurs some of the kids drew. Oh, Walter, what did you guys think? That book is very silly. Okay. We're going to do a high five retelling, and that's something Mrs. Turgeon just taught me. So a high five retelling, we put a finger up for each thing when we talk about the book. So our first finger is for the main character of the story. Do you remember who the main character of our story was? Whisper it into your hand. Who was it? Penelope Rex. That's right. Can you think of any of the other characters in our story? Hmm. If you can think of any other characters, shout them really loud. You could have said the mom, the dad, the classmates, or Mrs. Noodleman, the teacher. Okay, so we have our characters. The next thing is the setting. That's a big word, setting. Remember, setting is where the book takes place. Hmm, do you remember where our book takes place? Whisper it in your hand. Takes place at school, that's right. You also could have said it takes place at Penelope's house, but it mostly takes place at school. Okay, the next one is, what happened in the beginning of our story? Hmm, I want you to pause the video and either go tell one of your siblings or tell a grown-up what happened in the beginning of our story. Hmm. Remember, in the beginning of our story, Penelope Rex was nervous because she was getting ready to go to school for the first time. So that's what happened in the beginning. Next, let's do this one. It's the middle of the story. The middle of the story was my favorite part. Can you remember what happened in the middle? If you remember, pause the video and talk to one of your siblings or a grown-up about what happened in the middle of the story. In the middle of the story, that's when Penelope found out all of her classmates were children and she wanted to eat them because children are delicious. She knew it was wrong, but she couldn't help herself and she got in trouble because we're not supposed to eat our classmates, right? And what happened at the end of the story? Hmm. 
something silly happened at the end. Pause the video and tell a grown up or your siblings what happened at the end of our silly story. There was a classroom pet, Walter the Goldfish, and he bit Penelope Rex's finger. <gasps> she did not like that. And when she found out what it was like to be somebody's snack, she decided not to do it again. And she didn't eat her classmates anymore and she made friends. So we had main characters, the setting, the beginning, the middle, and the end. High five. Nice job. Well, I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me. Have a great day. Bye, friends. I miss you.